building. Well, Tommy, what's your what's your great hope right now to try to get justice for your daughter? Uh, our, our greatest hope right now is to see the federal government in Australia make the decision that we had originally uh, heard that they were going to make, and that was to uh, deport him back to the United States so that we have an opportunity to find out whether or not he'll be facing trial here. And, and our greatest hope really is that um, due to the fact that he's managed to avoid facing the evidence and avoid facing the trial up to this point, to see him in reality face the evidence before a jury in, in a trial and answer to that evidence so that justice can be done for our daughter. Because this has been seven years now, and that's been seven years of hell for your family. Absolutely. It's been, uh, it, it's been more difficult than, than I can even begin to describe for my family. It's, it's worse than our worst nightmare. It's, uh, um, it, it's just been horrendous in every aspect. But, but the fact of the matter is that, as I've said to you before, it, it, it's really not about us. It's about getting justice for our daughter, Tina. And we'll continue our efforts until that has either been done or there is absolutely no hope that we will see that done. But right now, he's essentially in exile because he's a wanted man if he steps his foot back in the United States. And that must make you feel, you know, like some justice has been done. He's, he's Well, not really. When, when you consider the fact that all we wanted all along is, is for him to stand trial before the evidence and answer to that evidence before a jury, and a jury make a decision as to his final fate, um, what is going on right now is just what's been going on in the past. He has continually avoided facing the evidence before a jury. And right now, while we're waiting on him to be returned, he's continuing to do that, which um, uh, that's really the most frustrating part of all of this. Mm -hmm. And you're disappointed in the Australian government for not accepting that Alabama can, can take these steps and, and put him in front of the court. I'm disappointed that the Queensland government accepted all of the assurances of the state of Alabama that he wouldn't be facing the death penalty. Um, that Don Valesca, of course, has told, told them that he can provide proof that he would not be facing a death penalty. And yet they still are ignoring uh, the efforts of the state of Alabama to get justice for one of its citizens. I, I don't believe that they have a right to do that, but evidently they feel like they have a right to do it, and I don't understand why.